This past weekend, I played in a league challenge and I used my boy Cloth here. Now, I really like this deck. This deck is a lot of fun. I wanted to do something a little different uh, just because I didn't want to follow the crowd and do something Lost Zone or Gardevoir. I wanted to play something I personally enjoy playing, so I decided to go with Cloth. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this list. I ended up going 3-1 with it somehow. Um, <laughs> it was a grind that day. But we're going to take a look at Cloth here first. This is, you can argue, it's like your main attacker of this deck. So it has Unhinged Scissors for 30, and if it's affected by a special condition, it's going to do 160 more damage. Uh, with the math of Double Turbo, that is going to equal out to 170. And then, of course, special conditions are going to come into play. So your idea with this deck, uh, along with your Hisuian Electrode, which we play three copies of, uh, you're wanting to either use your Brute Bonnet or you're wanting to use your Spicy Season Curry to give them a special condition. And then that's where their effects of their attacks kind of take off and do extra damage. Um, along with that, we use some damage modifiers in here like Radiant Sneasler to help us just kind of hit those key numbers. So Tantrum Blast on Electro B is a free attack. That's what that symbol means. It's going to do 100 for each special condition affecting Hisuian Electro. So with this deck, we can use two special conditions, which is really nice. So that is going to equal out to 200 damage. So if you have the Radiant Sneezer out on the field, uh, that'll bring Pokemon up to 230, I believe. So that is going to help you out with hitting a lot of key Pokemon V, which can help for, you know, just some easy cheap prizes. Uh, you can also pick off Squawkabillies, Rotoms, Mew, things like that that just are kind of easier to knock out. You can do that with Cloth as well. Um, Cloth can kind of knock out those lower HP, EX, and V Pokemon. Um, it is going to kind of struggle against those higher ones, but Cloth really is there uh, for, you know, just fighting weakness. It's a great single prize attacker, and on top of that, it can just soften up stuff, and you can come sweep in with either Electrode, or you can come in with another Cloth. Or, yeah. <laughs> Thought I messed that up. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take a look at another key component of this deck, and that is going to be Brute Bonnet. So it's got the ability Toxic Powder, and basically what that boils down to if you have an Ancient Energy Booster Capsule, yeah, that's what it's called, um, once, per, well, yeah, once per turn, you can make both Pokemon poisoned. So that is where, you know, these are going to be the huge things here is just you want to have the caps on here, poison your active, poison their active, and then that's where the, you know, like I said, the damage is just going to kick in there, which is really nice. And then next up, we have a 2-2 line of a barrel that's in here strictly, so that way, you know, we can kind of keep our hand you know just at least a five and try to you know get some consistency cards out and speaking of sneezler here is sneezler it's gonna be our radiant of the deck and basically its ability is just during checkup you put two two more damage counters on your opponent's active pokemon for poison so that's really nice that's gonna help out with your damage a lot and then we have squawk ability to kind of keep our plays going um, this deck runs battle VIP passes and things like that. Um, you want to kind of you, you need a lot of cars to get this deck going sort of in a way uh, Just a lot of moving pieces. You need your tool. You need Pokemon on the field You need energy viewers and cloth things like that. So squawk ability really good card in here And then I decided to add in Jirachi over Manaphy um, I wasn't necessarily worried about um Greninja or Screamtail just because if I have Booster Energy Capsule, my Brute Bond is going to be a little beefy, but I figured um, Sableye and just damage counter Pokemon like that would absolutely tear me up. Uh, that and I don't know. It's just kind of like a personal choice. Um, I just wasn't really that worried about bench damage, but just facing off against a Lost Zone deck, I wanted to try to slow them down a little bit. All right, next up we have ourselves the Supporter Cars. We have three Professors Research. And then we have three bosses orders. It is very important with this deck that you're able to drag stuff up and knock it out. Uh, that's just going to make your life a little easier, just taking cheap prizes with this deck. Uh, especially if, you know, they have super duper beefy Pokemon that you can't hit for weakness. Uh, you can take off some cheap prizes and then kind of lead with Cloth if you need to. That's sort of how I play this in a way. Uh, next up, we have two of these awesome judges. I absolutely love this art. I think this just looks good. It's got two of those. Two full art judge. That's what we're going to say. <laughs> and then we have two Iono. Uh, this cool combo here, just kind of disrupting your opponent's hand a little bit and then just hitting for big damage. Of course, you have barrel, so it doesn't really affect you that much. Um, adding some little little bit of disruption is really nice. If you're able to have, have like a matchup where you're disrupting them and hitting for weakness, your, your life is just going to be a lot easier. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to take a look at the stadium cards we play in this deck. We have three town store, which is huge here. Uh, and then we have one Collapse Stadium. This is in here just to discard Squawkabilly. 
or at least kind of disrupt your opponent's bench. Or if you want to try to remove a Electra V off your field, you can do that. Town Store, once during each player's turn, they can search their deck for a Pokemon tool card, reveal it, put it in their hand. I'll get to why that is so important here in a second. Because now we're moving on to the item cards. So we got ourselves four Spicy Season Curry. So what this card does is it poison, or not poison, excuse me, burns your active Pokemon and then you heal 40 damage from it. So getting back to Cloth Electrode, um, you're more going to be using this on Electrode, but if you whiff on the Pokemon Tool card, you can Spicy Season Curry a Cloth. So one of the downsides is if your Pokemon survives the turn and you flip heads and remove Burn uh, and it's Electrode, that's going to lower your lower your damage output a little bit. Um, that's usually fixable, but uh, I ran into that issue this weekend. <laughs> um, I was like, crap, I got to burn another spicy season curry, no pun intended, to get some extra damage output. Uh, so we're going to have four of those. That is a very, very key part of this deck. Uh, that's just going to help out with Electrode's damage output. Just make it to where it's hitting for a nice consistent 200 every time. Then we have four Battle VIP Pass. That is in here. Uh, just that way we can get our field set up, because like I said, this is a deck that needs Brute Bonnet, uh, Electrode, Sneezler sometimes. You want to try to get your uh, Squawkabilly out, and then if you need to, Jirachi. Then we have four Ultra Ball, and we have two Nest Ball. I apologize for that glare, my goodness. That's Ultra Ball. <laughs> and then we have two Switch. And to escape rope, I know they're not the same art. I don't want to freaking hear it. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can like kind of. No, that that glare is just gonna be there. I, I do apologize. <laughs> um, yeah. And then for some extra cards here, we have Super Rod and Pal Pad. Super Rod's in here in case we need to shuffle our Burt Bonnets back in, or um, if we need to shuffle in like another cloth or Electro, just whatever we might need for the matchup. And then Pal Pad's in here so we can kind of keep the boss and disruption going. Now for the Pokemon Tool Cards, we're going to start off with the MVP being Bravery Charm. I added this in last second. Um, Bravery Charm came in absolutely freaking clutch this weekend. It basically will bump your Electrode up to 260 HP. Uh, and that, that, that just came in, just became a factor in so many matches this weekend. Um, like all four, pretty much. Uh, I love the addition of Bravery Charm so much that I am actually considering adding a second one. <laughs> That's how much I love this card. Um, but yeah, Bravery Charm was just a great addition. I'm actually going to move these up a little bit right here. Yikes, let's do that. Okay. So yeah, I love the copy of Bravery Charm. It was so cool. Next up, we have three Booster Energy Capsule, the Ancient One. So, the ancient Pokemon this card is attached to gets plus 60 HP and recovers from all special conditions and can't be affected by special conditions, which, you know, doesn't really matter. You're just more or less getting it to activate the effect. And then, of course, it becomes a nice 180 Pokemon sitting there on your bench. So, that is going to just kind of eliminate a lot of bench hitting. So, that, that was my logic with it. I was just like, you know what, uh, if... If I keep the Manaphy, because I had Manaphy in here originally, if I, if I keep it in here... It's like, what are they really hitting that they just can't, like, boss up or something? I don't know. Um, so that's why I just decided on the Jirachi. To me, the Jirachi just felt a little more comfortable as a play. Um, and the Energy Capsule giving my Brew Bonnet more HP was kind of like a factor there. And then, of course, we have two Forest Seal Stone. This is in here because while attached to Electrode, you can grab anything out of your deck. And so you can grab Spicy Season Curry. You can grab a Double Turbo Energy, which we play four of. Um, you can grab Class Stadium if you want. If you just want to remove the Squawkabilly play, there's a lot of stuff here. You can grab the Boss for a KO. Um, there's just a lot of different things you can do with that. So um, this is the list right here. I apologize for the glare. Um, thankfully, you guys can kind of see um, sort of what's going on here. Maybe if I just like do that. Okay, that helped a little. Yeah, that helped a little bit. But yeah. So here's the list overall, and then we're going to talk about my matchups. All right, so round one, I faced off against Zorark V-Star. And so immediately when he flipped over Zorark V-Star, I said, okay, cool, I'm just going to go aggro cloth. And that's pretty much what I did. Uh, the entire time, I never even bothered benching Electro V, uh, really, because I just didn't want to give him two free prizes. And so I just aggro cloth, 
and ended up winning the game just because of prize trades. Nothing too exciting there. Uh, round two, I ended up facing off against the deck that won the entire thing. If you guys want to see that deck profile, let me know because uh, my boy Ricky ended up winning that event. Uh, but he was playing Godingo Palkia. Uh, and our our game literally came down to like the last turns, which was cool. We had a fantastic game. I wish we could have recorded that. But unfortunately, I got kind of cucked out of recording at the shop. Um, but basically, it kind of came down to like... They said it came down to like me whipping a turn on double turbo, but like, I don't know, just for some reason, I feel like I was still a little too far behind. Um, and then I like at the last bit, I removed my electro to try to make it a little more difficult on him to take prizes and still he ended up winning. Uh, but it came down like legitimately to the absolute wire. And so that was, that was a good game. Uh, he ended up winning the whole thing, which was cool. Uh, and then round three, I faced, the I faced off against my favorite deck, Gardevoir. Y'all know I love Gardevoir. Ugh. Um, That one just kind of... My dog is literally about to knock my mat over. Okay. <laughs> um, that came down to just me being able to hit some key bosses. Um, he had a little bit of a slow start. And I did too, in a way. It, it was like slow starts on both ends. But the crazy thing about it was after the match was done... Uh, it came down to my opponent had two prize cards. I had one prize card and I rolled heads on burn and it took off my burn. And then next turn, he was short one energy and bravery charm saved me because he was 10 damage short from knocking me out, which was insane. So it came back to me. Yeah, it came back to me um, after poison and all that. No, no, yeah, yeah. So it came back to me. And I had 10 damage left going into my turn. That's what it was. I attacked, won the game. There was no way I could get that out of my active spot. So I took my last prize. Poison knocked me out. He took his two last prizes. And we had to go into sudden death. Um, I, he went first in sudden death. I drew my hand out. And the first two cards I saw were uh, Spicy Season Curry and Electrode. Uh, I also had Battle VIP Pass, I had Nest Ball, and I think I had Double Turbo. So I had like a god hand going into that. And as soon as I saw the Curry and the Electrode, I thought to myself, like, yeah, I win. And so he he did his turn and passed, and I just played down Curry, and he picked his cards up. So uh, then at that point, I was 2-1. And then the final round, I faced off against Charizard. And unfortunately, they were only able to get one Charmander down on their first turn. And so going into my turn, I bossed up their only Charmander and knocked it out. And then uh, next turn, I was able to take another free prize card and I was able to promote Cloth to the bench, kind of forcing them to have the means to get a Charizard out and boss up my Electrode if they want to try to knock it out. And I think by that point, I might have already had the Bravery Charm on it. I don't remember. Um, that was the big thing about Bravery Charm too, by the way, was just kind of like the damage output with Charizard. Um, I would have to go pretty deep in prizes in theoretically if they didn't lost vacuum off the brave charm uh then i could maybe take like maybe three to four prizes with electrode theoretically um so from there uh after they got the charizard out i basically i had two prizes taken they knocked out cloth and then i promoted electrode um and was able to knock out their charizard because electrode hits for weakness bringing me down to two prize cards and so from that point on, it just kind of became a matter of like, even if they knock out Electrode, I don't need too much to knock out their Charizard just because of how the, just the match played out. So I was able to end up um, just bossing up a Rotom to finish the game out. So I was able to go out 3-1 and end up getting third place. Uh, losing to the guy that won the tournament. I, I will take that. <laughs> but yeah, so if you guys want to see his deck, I'll ask him if he wouldn't mind sharing that with us. But yeah, here is the list I got uh, that went 3-1. My dog is like getting comfortable and rolling onto my mat. <laughs> Sorry about that, but a um, little bit of a longer video. Uh, if you guys stayed around long enough and cared to hear my tournament report, um, there's nothing too exciting. At least I actually faced like some, you know, some meta decks, you know. I faced off against Zorark, Gardevoir, and Charizard, and Godinga Palkia. Um, not so much the Zorark, but the other three. Um, even I love Zorark. I love that deck so much. But um, the other three pretty prominent decks right now in the format, but... Overall, it was a very fun experience, and it was cool to play a deck that I really enjoyed playing uh, that day. Um, I, I just, I don't know, I, I adore this deck. It is so fun. But, yeah, 
thank you all so much for watching hope you did enjoy the video if you did please make sure to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already and thank you again if you decided to sit through and listen to my tournament report um hopefully i'll be back with some more videos for you guys soon um yeah i have a fun weekend coming up it is only monday and uh, i have a long grindy week ahead of me <laughs> um so wait, wish me luck whenever i upload this um y'all are amazing thank you so much take care i love you guys and as always this is epic pokemon tcg signing out don't forget to like follow and obey